So maybe you have a Mini 2 Eco or a Maxi 2 Eco. And maybe you've decided that actually individually turning the eggs is too time consuming. Well, what we now have for both these models is a semi-automatic turning kit. These can be purchased separately and they basically update your Mini 2 Eco or your Maxi 2 Eco to semi-automatic turning, which means instead of individually turning the eggs, you can turn seven eggs in the Mini Eco and 14 eggs in the Maxi 2 Eco with the simple twist of a little turning apparatus on the top here. And what I'll do is I'll show you how this works. So let's have a look. Let's take the Maxi 2 Eco as our example. Uh, we've got 14 eggs in this machine. They're sat currently on their turning mat. We don't need the turning mat. We're going to take the hatching mat out because when we add our turning kit, we're going to include, we're going to add a turning disc. The Maxi 2 Eco kit comes with a small self-assembly turning apparatus, some instructions for how to put it together, and with both kits you get two discs. So the first disc is for hen eggs, that will take 14 hen eggs, and the second disc is for quail eggs, and that will take 40 quail eggs. So you can choose which disc you can go with. Let's assume we're going to go with the 14 hen egg disc. So, simply remove our hatching mat, which we will replace, we'll put it back when it comes to the two days of hatching. There we go. So our 14 eggs can go back in, normally pointy end towards the centre. But if you find for any reason they don't roll as well as you'd like them to, then by all means turn them so that the pointy end faces out so that you get a slightly better roll. Just depends on the shape of the egg. So there's our 14 eggs in place. We're going to assemble the turning apparatus which will go into the lid now. So, we have five parts to this turning assembly. Okay. So, we're going to follow our instructions. So, we have the little the little knob here. We have a little black rubber ring and we are going to put the black rubber ring onto the turning mechanism and I'm just going to squeeze it on until it goes right in. There we go. I'm going to add the lid to this little piece here. It's a very ingenious way of checking that you have turned uh, in one direction and then the other, as I'll show you in a minute. So, with the little um, feet, if you like, pointing downwards, I'm adding the lid here, here to this, and that just clips in there like that. Okay, so, what, so let's put that to one side now. So, what I then do is I add the piece, this piece, into the lid like this. The end here, with the feet sticking up, this piece slots into the hole in the lid here and lines up with the tube that I've just put in here. There we go. Then all I need to do is to drop the little screw that I've got here, the screw that comes with it, I drop that down the centre. I get a screwdriver and the screw that's gone down there needs to fit into place. And 
until it's nice and tight. There we go. That's nice and tight there. So this then fits back on here. So now with this knob I can turn the eggs as far as I need to go because it's automatically, it can't go any further this way so I, need, I know I need to go back this way until the little foot catches on the lid. I can turn it further than that but I know next time I've got to go back this way. So it gives a brilliant way of remembering which way you've turned your eggs. How do you know how far to turn your eggs? Well, the way we do it is simply if you put the pointy end facing downwards and you mark a little cross here. Let's mark that cross here. Yeah, and then put a zero here. You should find that though that zero and that cross will be roughly at 10 o'clock and 2 or 3 o'clock. So moving between the zero and the X in the machine will give you roughly a quarter of a turn. You can make it 9 and 3. We could move that zero a bit further across here if we wanted to. And we could move the X a bit further across here if we wanted to. Yeah, But we roughly want a, a, a quarter of a turn. So if we place that egg pointy end into, into our incubator, and I'm going to put the X so that it's facing up to me. So I just keep turning this. See how it's turning as I'm turning it? I want the zero to come up to the 12 position. There we go. In the evening I come back and all the eggs, as long as they're roughly the same size, will all turn to the same amount. For further details, contact your local distributor or check the Brincy website. Thank you.